Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Jules. Today I'm going to be taking you through a yoga practice that is going to help you to relieve some stress. One of the best ways that I like to relieve stress is through movement. And so today I'm going to be taking you through a moving practice. But the movement isn't just going to be any movement. Um, I want it to be um, repetitive, mindful movement so that we know where we're going, but there's going to be little shifts here and there that help us to stay present and focused in the moment. So when we're stressed out, for me, I tend to wander to the future and worry about the future and that's taking away from the present moment and so i want to bring myself back to that to the now to right where i am so today you're going to just need your yoga mat if you'd like to use props you're more than welcome to the mindful movement that we're going to be using is sun salutations so we're going to use sun salutations as like the basic outline of the practice, but we're going to make little changes here and there just so that we don't get too lost and that we stay present and uh, aware of what's going on. All right, so one of the, one of the best ways to get uh, mindful and to de-stress is to get grounded and so we're going to start at the top of the mat since we're going to do the sun salutations today i want you to become mindful and aware and present of your feet feel them grounding into the earth and as you're pressing the feet down i want you to start to feel the energy lift through the legs so start to feel the sensation of the legs it's another way to bring yourself um, back into the present moment to help you to take and put aside what it is that you're thinking about and stressing about and tuning it into your body and taking an initial scan and um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of an overview of where you are right now. So standing tall, Start to press the feet down, spread the toes, feel the legs active, feel the thighs firm. Let the eyes fall closed. Arms are resting just down by your side. Start to find your center. Take a deep breath in and start to reach and float the arms up overhead. Keep the eyes closed. Bring the palms to touch if you can, and then bring the hands right through heart center, landing the thumbs at the chest. Now take a moment here to feel the beating of the heart. And fall in line with that pulse. And one of the things as we start to mindfully move is that I don't want this to become a rushed uh, a rushed thing. I want this to be uh, steady and I would like this to be uh, moving, but I don't want it to feel like we are late to something or that we're rushing to get somewhere. We're using movement to bring ourselves back to the present moment to de-stress. Okay, so enough talking here. Let the eyes flutter open Soften the gaze. Take another deep breath in, float the arms up. And as you exhale, start to forward fold, soft bend in the knees, hinge at the hips. Relax the head, neck and shoulders. Soft bend in the knees again to protect the lower back. Relax the head, neck and shoulders and notice what it feels like to feel the back of the legs stretching giving your mind something to come to and to have something tangible that's present and in this moment. Good. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Fingertips can come to the shins or they can stay on the floor. 
feet away, half lift, nice long spine. Press the feet down, stretch the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to rise, bracing the belly, firm the thighs, lift the chest, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch and reach the heart forward, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to rise, standing tall, lift the chest. Take a look at the thumbs, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen and stretch the spine. I'm going to bring my fingertips to the shins right now so you can see what that looks like. Exhale, forward fold, bracing the belly, let the torso hang over the leg. Inhale, roll up to rise, press the feet down, lift the chest, hands to heart center. For a deep breath in, reach and stretch the arms up. We're gonna take a little deviation here. Bring the right arm down, reach and stretch the left arm over. Lengthen through the side body, hip pressing down through the left foot, reaching up and out through the left side. Good, come back to center, reach both arms up, left arm down, left, reach over to the left, and come back to center, both arms up, exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold, inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, another little deviation here, inhale, halfway lift, bring the left fingers so that they're um, in line with your face. Bend your left knee, keep the right leg lengthened, rotate the chest open to the right, little twist. Good. Come back to center and switch it out. Right fingers down, right knee bends, rotate the chest. Now if this is too much on the shoulder, bring the hand to the hip and turn from the bottom right. Good, release the hands to the floor. Release the crown of the head towards the floor, relax the back of the neck. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to shins or floor. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reaching up. We're going to go right into it. So lengthen first, and then right arm down, left arm over. Good, come back through center, reach. Left arm down, left arm over. Come back to center, reach both arms up. Forward fold, hinge at the hips, knees soft, belly in. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. This time bring the right, the left fingers to the center underneath the face. Bend the left knee. Rotate the chest open to the right. You can always have the hand at the hip like this. Okay, come back to center and switch. Bend the right knee, right fingertips on the floor. Rotate the chest. If your fingers cannot touch the floor, try to get yourself to um, so get yourself a couple of books or get yourself a couple of blocks. Or you can always use your furniture. I'm going to take a quick deviation here. So like I'm here with my ottoman, come to my half lift, right fingers to the ottoman, rotate the chest, come back to center, rotate, come back to center, okay? So you can have your ottoman right out in front of you. So deep breath in, roll up to rise, Good. bring the hands to heart center, and just feel the body in the present moment. Okay. We're gonna move into sun salutation A. Deep breath in, reach both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips. We're gonna take this first one slow. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Step both feet to the back of the mat. You're gonna come into a high plank pose. And place the knees on the floor if it's too much on the lower back. 
Press down through what's touching the floor, knees or toes and hands. And then slowly lower yourself down, down with control all the way to the belly. Lift the chest, firm the feet down, lift the chest up. Cobra pose, shoulders back, elbows bent. Lower all the way back down. Touch the toes. You can press through tabletop and then send the hips up and back downward facing dog. I'm not going to always give that cue, but know that that's an option for you. Good. In this first downward facing dog, you're just going to relax the back of the neck. Spread through the fingers, push the floor away. Firm the front of the thighs. Press through the balls of the feet. Good. Slowly start to walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, press the feet, brace the belly, lift the chest. Hands to heart center, mountain pose. We're gonna run through that straight forward. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank pose, feet or knees touching the floor. With control, lower yourself down, all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, lift the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe in your downward facing dog. And for this second downward facing dog, if you'd like to hop to the top of the mat, you'll bend your knees, you'll look to the top of the mat, and you'll float, or you will walk your feet to the top of the mat, coming to your forward fold. Either way, we're here at the top of the mat in a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, hands to heart center. Good, one more time. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen and stretch, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, high plank pose. Lower all the way down to the earth. Inhale, lift and float the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, send the hips to the sky. Good. Brace the belly, draw the navel in, send the sit bones up. Press the floor away, feel the arms engaging. Biceps is the um, inside of the arms, are going to be by the ears, and the triceps, the outside of the arms, are going to be wrapping towards the back of the mat. Look up between the hands and make your way to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart center. Very nice. Take a moment here. Feel the difference between a half sun salutation and a sun salutation A. We're going to move into our last round of sun salutations, which is sun salutation B. And then we're going to play a little bit in sun B. And then we're going to start to cool it down. Deep breath in, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair pose. I like the hands and heart center for this first one. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, high plank pose. Lower all the way down to the belly. We're going to stay with cobra today. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, lift the chest. Lower all the way down. Press up and back. Downward facing dog. This is where we deviate from sun salutation A into sun salutation B. We're gonna start adding some standing poses. Inhale, lift the right leg high, keep the hips square. Step the right foot, draw the right knee in, step the right foot to the right thumb. 
back heel down to the floor, toes turned on a 45 degree angle. Rise up chest and shoulders facing the top of the mat. Warrior one. Then we're gonna stay here in warrior one for three breaths. Remember, like I had said at the beginning, it's not a race. We're not rushing to get anywhere. And after those flows, you tend to feel the breath start to quicken like you would if you're uh, in, in a stressful situation. Holding warrior one allows you to bring yourself back to taking in full, deep breaths. Feel the feet. All four corners are grounded. Back leg is charged. Chest is lifted. One more. And then both hands come to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Let's do that first just to take a moment. Okay, so we're not rushing through the vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Lift the chest, cobra pose, shoulders back, elbows bent, back of the neck long. But downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Deep breath in, lift and stretch. The left leg high, keep the left hip pointing down. Step the left foot to the left thumb, right heel down, toes turned on a 45 degree angle. Rise to stand, <clears throat> warrior one. Good. Your left hip is drawing back. Your right hip is moving towards the front. The back heel is pressing into the floor. The chest is lifted. Good. Ground the feet and steady the breath. One more round of breath here. Stretching through the fingers, nice strong arms, feel the sensation of the entire body. And then bring the hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Just taking that extra little step here to keep our pace steady. Forward to plank. And remember, knees is always an option. Lower all the way to the foot. Inhale, press and lift the chest. Downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Press the hips up to the sky. And I want you to think about pressing the, as you're pressing the hands down, the arms grow longer, the shoulders go wide. The balls of the feet press down, the thighs firm and lift so that the back of the legs get a nice stretch. Look up between the hands and walk or float. Today I'm walking, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Reach and stretch the arms up this time for your chair pose. Rise to stand. Arms lifting and fingers stretching. Bring the hands to heart center. Good, we'll move through that one more time. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Bend the knees, hands to heart. It's a little bit different. Good. Hands at the heart, lift the chest, weight back in the hips. Exhale, forward fold, release. Lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. High plank pose. Press the floor away and lower with control, down to the belly. Inhale, shoulders back, chest reaches forward, cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. There's no rush. Good. Take a deep breath. Steady it out. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Draw the right knee in, right foot to right thumb. Back heel down, warrior one. Good. Stretch and lift and lengthen the arms. Drive the feet down. Draw the hip back. And as you're pressing the feet into the floor, kind of feel it like it's buoying back into. So you're not like really heavy in the feet, but you have, um, there's momentum going in both directions. 
You want to feel light while you're grounded. Both hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high, left hip square. Left foot to left thumb. Right heel down, toes turned on a 45, rise. Brace the belly, lift the chest. Back heel dial down, back leg strong. Left hip drawing back. Steady the breath. Bring both hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Good. This downward facing dog is an opportunity again after warrior one to slow the breath down, to be mindful, to be able to tune in to the body. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift and reach the heart up. Lower all the way down, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. A deep breath in your downward facing dog. Look up between the hands, take a walk, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Reach and stretch the arms up this time. Rise to stand mountain pose, hands to heart center. So we're gonna do one more round of that. And then, but this time we're going to play with some of the arms that we did at the beginning. So that we don't get too caught up in getting uh, lost, being repetitive. Inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your left knee, bring the left fingers to the mat or to blocks or up onto something. Rotate the chest open to the right. Good, come back to center, switch it out. Bend the right knee, right fingers down, rotate the chest to the left. Good. Bring both hands down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. Good, with control, lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, lift the chest, shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Lift the hips up to the sky. Take a moment, breathe. Look up between the hands, step or float, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Soft knees, roll up to rise, take a deep breath, reach and stretch the arms up. Good, right arm down, left arm over. Side stretch. Good, come back to center. Both arms up and then reach over to the left. Left arm down, right arm over. Bring both arms up and back. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, roll up to rise, stretch, reach, look up at the sky, hands to heart center. Bend the knees, chair pose. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. High plank pose. Lower yourself all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Step the right foot to the right thumb, warrior one. Reach and stretch the arms. 
take your left, uh, your right hand back behind you and reach the left arm up and over. Little side stretch in our warrior one. Good. Reach both arms up. Both hands to the floor. Step back downward facing dog. Take that moment before we move through a flow. Inhale forward to plank. Remember, we're not rushed here. We're moving with control to keep the stress level down and to stay with the breath. Lower all the way back down, tuck the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now we go to the other side. Good, right? So just making sure that we complete one thing, step the left foot to the left thumb before we move into the next. Reach and stretch all the way up. Good, left hand behind, yeah, left hand behind, right arm over. I just finished teaching and when I teach, I teach to the opposite. So that I'm mirroring. Reach both arms up. So I get my right and my left confused a lot. Both hands down to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Good, last vinyasa here, forward to plank. Exhale all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Ah, yes. Good work. Relax back hips to heels. You can take the knees wide. The chest come between the thighs. Relax the back of the neck as the forehead melts onto the floor. Slowly press yourself up, come to a seated cross-leg position. Take a deep breath in, float and reach both arms up. Side body stretch over to the left. Right arm stretches to the left. So if my left, maybe it's your right. It will depend on if you're going to your left or not. If you're going to your left, you'll be in the different direction as me. Come all the way back to center, reach both arms up and switch. Right hand down, left arm up and over. Come back to center, reach both arms up. Easy twist, right, left hand, right knee, right hand behind. Lift and lengthen, rotate and let go of the shoulder. So as I said at the beginning, moving mindfully is a really nice way for me to release stress and to um, regulate my breathing, which also helps to reduce stress. But the other thing that really helps, and we'll focus on this one in another video, um, is being still. And one of the things that's nice about this particular practice and this way of releasing stress for me anyways, is that it helps me to get the angst out so that I can be still and so that there's nothing left or very little left for me to really be stressing about. My breath is regulated, my body is um, sort of flowing with the tempo of my breath and the rhythm of the heartbeat and all of that. And I'm centered and grounded. And so that I'm able to let my mind just relax. And if there's something that comes up, I'm much more able to let it slide on by rather than to let it sit and get stuck. Good. Bring, my, bring yourself back to center. Go ahead and make your way onto your back. Lengthen the legs to the bottom of the mat. Lay all the way back. Relax the arms down by your side and let the eyes fall closed. You may be tempted to want to let Shavasana go and just move on. I encourage you to take even 
two minutes to lay here. And just notice the difference in the quality of your mind and body from when we started to how we finished. Scan the body. Slowly let the eyes relax and sink back. Let the weight of the body be completely surrendered into the earth. See if you need something tangible to focus on, something to allow you to continue to be still. Watch your breath with the mind drive. Watch the breath move in and out of the body with a sense of lightness and ease. You can continue to stay here and rest in a well-deserved Shavasana. Or, if you need to move on, slowly let the eyes flutter open. Gently turn to the side and press yourself up to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, one more time before you move on with the rest of your day, take a moment to feel the sensations of the body to notice how it's different from when we've started and to how we've progressed and moved into the final part of our practice. I hope you enjoyed our practice and time together, that you're feeling de-stressed or at least a little bit more relaxed in your body and mind. Keep coming back to this practice and I, will, I can tell you that as you continue to come back, it will be easier to settle into that flow, to allow yourself to let go and completely relax. So that you can move on with the rest of your day, feeling the best you possibly can feel. I wish that for you today and enjoy the rest of your day, evening, wherever you are. Look forward to seeing you soon.